Are you a sticky note person like I am? I mean, I'll take sticky notes, put ideas on them, and stick them all over the place on my monitor, on my desk, everywhere. But then I found that if you leave sticky notes in one place and you go someplace else, they're not much good to you. So what can we do? Uh, in today's video, I want to show you one of my favorite ways to do that using an app called Google Keep. And then I'm going to show you some ninja tricks that you can use to make the most of this super versatile app. Are you ready? Here we go. So if you haven't heard of Google Keep already, uh, it is a semi, well, not even really a well-kept secret, but not something that Google like goes and seems to broadcast all over the place. But I think it's one of its most versatile tools and it interacts really well with some of the core G Suite apps like Docs and Slides. And so basically what Google Keep is, is it's like virtual sticky notes that go with you wherever your Google account goes. So you can use the mobile app to jot down these little sticky notes in text. Um, you can actually draw with your finger in drawings. You can add images to them. But uh, you can also use your, your desktop computer or your laptop or your Chromebook or whatever uh, to take these notes as well. And so as you can see here, I've got a variety of different notes kind of all over the place. And to take a note, all you do is just click up here and you can start typing some text. You can add images. You can even color code your notes. You can add labels to them as well to help you organize and so on and so forth. So that's the gist of how Google Keep works. And Google Keep is awesome. It's something that is really a very regular part of my life. I use it just about every day to jot down notes. My workflow is usually it starts here on my mobile device and then I organize and I'll go back into things on my computer. Now there are some semi-hidden features about Google Keep, uh, some of which will work on your um, browser version that won't work on the mobile version and vice versa. So if you know about these, sometimes you can really tap into them and get even more use out of it. So let me show you some of my favorites. So the first one has to do with images. If you take a picture using your mobile device, that seems to be the best way that, that I do it. If you take a picture, of something and add it to a Google Keep note, you're able to annotate on top of that Google Keep note. All you've got to do to make that happen is just once the image is in your note, you just tap on it and then hit the little pin icon. So once you've done that, you're able to draw with your finger or with a stylus on top of that, that picture. So there's lots of ways that this could be useful, but there's one in particular that I've found that has been really great, and that has to do with agendas. So if you ever go to a staff meeting and they give you a paper agenda and you're like, what am I gonna do with this paper agenda once I'm done? Instead of taking it, why don't you take a picture of it and add it to a Google Keep note? And then once you're there, you hit the little pin and you pull up, you pull up your agenda and so then you can write on it with your finger. You can write right on that image. And what's nice is that you can zoom by pinching. And so then when you write with your finger, then you're able to write kind of the same size as the rest of the text on the screen. You gotta do it in kind of like little small chunks at a time, but if you do that, you're able to save yourself from having to uh, you know, save another piece of paper. Or if you're working off of a Chromebook or a laptop, it's just as easy to take that picture, stick it into a note, and then type all of the notes from the meeting right there in text using Google Keep. Now along that same line, another thing that's fun is to take the pictures that you add to a Google Keep note and then use the drawing to actually add some drawings on top of your image. So th this kind of reminds me of Snapchat, how sometimes people will take a picture with Snapchat and then they will draw with their finger all over that image. Um, sometimes people get kind of elaborate with it and will draw like little mustaches on themselves or add a hat or some sunglasses. You can even add a speech bubble next to your head. Um, I mean, there's just a variety of things that you can do. Being able to do that in Google Keep is nice and then we'll see in a little bit how we can pull those images into their work to be able to incorporate them into whatever they're doing for class. Another thing that's nice about Google Keep is it allows you to organize to your heart's content. 
So within each note, if you click on a note here, this works for mobile as well as the browser version, you will notice that, as I mentioned earlier, you can change the color of your notes. So just organizing by color, that's one layer of organization. But then you've also got the ability, if you click on more here and hit add label, you can label your notes. So if this is one for inspiration, you can click that little checkbox. Now notice what it says down here. It says you can also add labels by typing the pound sign. So if you don't want to do those extra clicks into the menu and add a label, I could have, let's say I want to file this for work too. So this is my note. I can add the pound sign or hashtag and then type in work. And then once that's there, now I can add that and that little label stays on it. So here's another trick that might make your life a little bit easier. Let's say you're adding some text into a note in Google Keep and it's starting to get like really long. Like you've got all sorts of stuff in there and you're thinking, man, this is kind of big for one sticky note. Maybe I need to switch this over to a document. Google Keep makes it pretty easy to do that too. So if you're in a note that has lots and lots of text, you click on the three dots and you go to copy to Google Docs. And then what you'll see is that it, it gives you this little notice that says copying to Google Docs. We're gonna hit open doc. And now it has pulled all of that text, including the title and the image that was attached to it, and it's turned it all into a document now. Now, speaking of text, if you have an image that has a whole bunch of text in it, sometimes you look at that image and you think, man, it would be nice if this was like regular text, like editable text. So if you wanna take a picture of some of that text that you've got either on you know, a sheet of paper like that, um, agenda we were talking about earlier, or you know, a page in a book or whatever. If you need to grab some of that text and turn it into editable text, Google Keep is a pretty easy way to do this actually. So here's what you do. You take your mobile device, you take a picture of that text and add it to a Google Keep document, and then you come into the options and you choose this option that says grab image text. And so once you hit grab image text, it looks at this image and it copies all of that text and then it sticks it right into the note. Now it's not all perfect. Um, you'll notice that I have some bullet points here and they turn those into O's. So I mean, that's, that's pretty close. You'll also find that typed text does so much better with this grab text option than written text. Like I've got this picture over here. This was a sketch that my friend Jed did about creativity and I hit the um, grab text button and we can see here that it kind of has, you know, it's, it's kind of choppy and it hasn't really, I mean, his, his uh, handwriting's pretty good, but it still didn't come over super, super well. Now, of course, one of the nice things about having the mobile app with Google Keep is that you can write with your finger, which is something that you can do with a mouse or with a touchpad as well. But I found that writing with your finger on a touch screen is the easiest way to do this whole drawing annotating feature. Now, what's nice about it also is that Google Keep can help you create some lines, you know, kind of like regular lined paper that we've got in our notebooks. But you gotta know where to find it. And so if you go into the mobile app or if you pull it up in the desktop version also and you create a new note that has a drawing on it, there is an option. Now you can see in the desktop version, it kind of looks like a button with a grid here. And you can choose to either put squares, dots, or rules onto your note. Now if you're in the mobile version, if you click the three dots, and you click change grid, you've got all of those same options, the squares, the dots, the rules, or none, and then you can apply it. And then you write, and you can even see how when you zoom in on those lines, you can write small enough so that it fits within the lines, and now it's kind of sort of like the, the act of writing on lined paper in real life. Uh, so you've got to zoom way in to do that. If you have a tablet with a bigger screen than a little mobile device like my cell phone, then that obviously makes this feature even more wonderful. Now here's another feature about Keep that I think is super cool that has a ton of potential in the classroom. So 
here's what I imagine with this. Let's say we're working on something like research where students are gathering little bits of information, kind of little by little, and they're adding them to notes in Google Keep. Um, I especially could see this if you were adding the notes with a mobile device or on your browser version where you're drawing in ideas. You know, maybe something visual where you're drawing it with your finger or with your mouse or something like that. Um, even with pictures, this would work too. And so once you've gathered a bunch of these ideas together, it's easy to take those notes from Keep and put them into a document or into a slide presentation to start to arrange them. So what I have in my mind here is if you do this with regular sticky notes, if you've ever done a sticky note brainstorm session before where you jot a bunch of ideas down on sticky notes and you put them all over the wall or all over the table and you start to move them around, this is the digital equivalent of that. And so what you can see here is in your in Google Docs, we click on Tools and there's an option called Keep Notepad. And what you'll find is that it pops open this little sidebar with all of the notes that I've taken before. And so what's nice about this is that I can take one of these notes. Notice this is just a simple text one that says here's some text. I can drag it over into my document and now I've got that text. What's nice is you can also do that with images. So now start to imagine jotting down a bunch of ideas, maybe in visual form in drawings, or a bunch of pictures. So in this case, this is a picture, even though it's a picture of a bunch of text. I move it over here, and so now I can start putting all of those in order in a document. Or even better, what if we switch over to a new slide presentation? And now we've got all of those same things. Now, imagine that this slide right here is kind of like the table or the wall where I'm putting all of those sticky notes. And so now I pull in some of those sticky notes. I can resize them if I need to. That one kind of, if you hold in the shift button while you resize it, then it won't, it'll maintain its original size. See, notice earlier I did it kind of like that. <laughs> I changed the, the shape of the note. And so now I can start sticking all of these notes on here that I've done with my finger on Google Keep and start to kind of storyboard my ideas. I can even pull this photo in if I want to. Notice that it puts a text box in as a separate thing. So I'm going to delete that out. And so now I've got this photo holding in the shift button here. And so now I've got all of these little sticky notes that I can put all over the place. Last one. This was one that I kind of stumbled upon that I didn't see or didn't notice for whatever reason. So let's imagine you're on the go and you want to take a note, but you don't want to actually stop and jot it down with your thumbs, kind of like, you know, like so many of us do. What you can do instead is you can pull up a note and click the plus button on your mobile device and click the recording option. And so it opens up a recording, kind of like you see here. And so once you're done, it stops recording. And it'll keep that recording and save it to a note, but it will also transcribe the words that you just said and put them in as text. So if you're on the go and you want to gather an idea, capture an idea, then use this recording feature and have it transcribe your note for you and stick it into text so you can work with it later. So there you have it. There's a handful of ninja tricks that you can use to really harness the true power of Google Keep, these sticky notes that go with you. So if this video is useful to you, hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe to get more videos just like this, more useful videos for ideas that you can use in the classroom. And I will see you on the next video.